This is Shuttle Launch Control. We now have the STS-69 flight crew. Got Mission Specialist uh, Mike Gernhardt. He's flying for the first time today. He'll be one of the EVA uh, crewmen. Jim Voss, also uh, one who will be uh, performing an EVA. Commander David Walker, flying for the fourth time. Pilot Ken Cockrell. And Mission Specialist Jim Newman, flying for the second time today. You'll notice the crew has uh, dog, dog food bowls uh, in front of them. They've dubbed themselves the Dog Crew, and they've had a lot of fun with that title. And uh, just uh, each of them have a, a dog name. And uh, this is just a, a fun thing that the crew's decided to do. The cake in the center of the table, traditional cake, has the STS-69 emblem. The insignia reflects the multifaceted objectives of the mission. We've got more than 60 experiments and pieces of hardware to be tested, covering almost every scientific discipline. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. We now have the flight crew getting into their launch and entry suits. Commander David Walker. Uh, commander's just been briefed on weather conditions here in uh, Florida and at the uh, TAL sites. He has overall responsibility for commanding the flight, and his primary job is to oversee and coordinate all mission activities. Pilot Ken Cockrell. He will assist the commander in the oversight of the orbiter systems and vehicle maneuvers as required by the payload during this flight. Crew does need assistance getting into their, their uh, gear. It's quite cumbersome and uh, the checks are made. The suit technicians make checks of the suits to make sure they're functioning properly. Uh, they fill the suits with air to make sure there are no leaks and uh, perform a test. I believe this is Mission Specialist Mike Gernhardt making his first flight today. He's designated as one of the spacewalkers on the mission. On the other side of the room, we've got uh, the rest of the crew. Mission Specialist uh, Jim Voss. He's designated as one of the EVA crew members. He's also a payload commander on this flight. He's responsible for all of the diverse payload operations going on for STS-69. And we have Mission Specialist James Newman. There's uh, Jim Voss. Uh, posing with uh, one of the suit technicians. Mission Specialist Newman flying for the second time today. He will be operating the remote manipulator system. He's uh, signifying he's ready to go for STS-69. Also uh, in, in the crew suit up room was Astronaut Bob Cabana, who would be flying in the T-38 and the shuttle training aircraft later this morning, checking out actual conditions for the weather here in Florida. Crew is scheduled to be leaving the uh, operations and checkout building in about 20 minutes or so. All of the uh, communication systems and uh, headset gear inside of their spaces are checked out to make sure they're operating properly before the crew heads out to the launch pad. This is shuttle launch control. We've got the STS-69 flight crew getting ready to depart the operations and checkout building. Commander David Walker and Pilot Ken Cockrell.
the crews now in the astronaut van. Crew will be walking across the orbiter access arm to get to the white room, which leads to the crew module. Again, it's very quiet here in the firing room. The launch team not tracking any technical issues. Weather uh, conditions are very, very nice at the current time. And uh, the concern is that as the temperatures heat up, that would cause some uh, cloudiness and possible rain in the area. Commander David Walker now uh, being assisted with the remainder of his flight crew equipment. And he has overall responsibility for the STS-69 mission. He recently described how the crew will deploy the Wake Shield facility, which is one of the primary payloads in the shuttle's payload bay. Pilot Ken Cockrell is now uh, being assisted with his flight suit. He will assist Commander David Walker in the complex and delicate maneuvers Endeavour must make during the deploy, rendezvous, and retrieval operations of the Wake Shield facility and the Spartan 201 platform. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 15 minutes and counting. Copy, and work. Just heard uh, Commander Walker performing voice checks with the test conductors here in, uh, in the Launch Control Center and also with uh, astronaut Eileen Collins, who is the CAPCOM, sitting in Houston at Mission Control today. Mission Specialist Mike Gernhardt is now being assisted with his flight suit. He'll be the next one to board the space shuttle. He is the only shuttle rookie on the flight. He has spent many hours below the surface as a deep sea diver and project engineer on subsea oil field construction and repair projects. On this mission, Gernhardt will get a different perspective of what it's like at about 190 nautical miles above the planet during his walk in space with Mission Specialist Voss. Now getting a view of payload commander James Voss. He's responsible for the diverse payload operations. He's also one of the designated spacewalkers on the planned six-hour spacewalk set to occur on flight day 10. Mission Specialist Jim Newman will be the last to climb aboard Endeavour today. He will deploy the Wake Shield facility on flight day 5. He's also involved in operating the robot arm during the spacewalk. We've got the shuttle training aircraft out at the shuttle landing facility. Astronaut Bob Cabana in that aircraft. He'll be making a real-time assessment of the weather conditions in the vicinity of the Kennedy Space Center. We always have uh, an astronaut flying in the STA for weather reconnaissance during this time in our countdown. PBC, PPC, and LPS, verify firemen console software configured properly for T minus 20 minutes. Only the programs listed may be active. Step 854. OTC verified. PPC verified. PPC verified. LPS verified. Copy. Countdown clock now has resumed. We will march down to the next hold at the T minus ten, 9 minute mark. That hold will last for 10 minutes. Engineering director. Jim, engineering is go. Copy that. 
SNMA director. Uh, safety and quality is go. Copy that. And range weather. Launch director, we have no constraints to launch. Copy that. And ops manager, clear to proceed. And ops manager, launch director on uh, 212. Uh, Jim, this is the ops manager. The uh, MFP is uh, cleared all issues. We're clear to launch. Copy that. Thank you. And Endeavor, uh, looks like we're opening up the gate, and we're going to turn you loose shortly to have a good hunt. We'll see you back here in about 11 days. And NTD launch okay, director. Jim. NTD launch director, you're clear to proceed. I'll copy that. Canton clock will resume on my mark. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. We're at T minus nine minutes and counting. Auto sequence has been initiated. The orbiter's access arm will be retracted away from the vehicle. This arm can be re-extended in just a few minutes, if necessary. All items and concerns have been cleared up for launch today. Weather conditions again are go for launch, and we have no technical issues. Just past the T-minus seven minute mark in our launch to for Endeavor. Tracked a gaseous oxygen vent hood away from the top of the tank. Verified no unexpected errors. Uh, to work. Pilot will be closing their visors in the next few seconds at the T minus two minute mark. Caution warning memory is clear, no unexpected errors. Flight crew, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 slow. Every dog has his day, and today is your day. On behalf of the launch team, we wish you good luck on your mission. Thanks, Doug, and the dogs are ready to fly. Yellow Cisco for ET, LH2, pressurization. At the T-minus 31 second mark, Endeavor's onboard computers will have control of vehicle functions. Just seconds before launch, thousands of, gallon of gallons of water will be dumped on the launch platform to help suppress the sound and shock. 25. and liftoff of Endeavour on the 71st flight of the Space Shuttle on a multifaceted mission. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Endeavour completes the roll, the first to settle, and heads down the main water position for the and half minute round of orbit. seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid fuel main engines begin to throttle back in a two-step fashion to 67% of rated performance. That will dampen the stress on the shuttle's aero surfaces as it breaks through the sound barrier. Fifty-five seconds into the flight, Endeavour passes through the sound barrier. The main engines begin to rev back up to full throttle. All of the engines performing normally, along with Endeavour's three power-producing fuel cells and three hydraulic power units. And 
Endeavor, go at throttle up. Endeavor, Roger, go at throttle up. Throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Dave Walker. He's joined on the flight deck by pilot Ken Cockrell, flight engineer Jim Newman, and payload commander Jim Voss, mission specialist Mike Gernhardt, seated alone down on the mid-deck. One minute, 35 seconds into the flight. Endeavor more than 88,000 feet in altitude, traveling more than 3,000 feet per second, already 13 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center on a due east trajectory. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, 15 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. That will be confirmed by the booster officer here in Mission Control. Endeavour now 155,000 feet in altitude, more than 26 and a half miles downrange. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Endeavour, performance nominal. Endeavour, Roger. Spacecraft communicator Eileen Collins indicating a perfect ride this morning on the solid rocket bo boosters.
Thanks, Mike.